Well, the scoreboard. Terrific effort here at Whairarau to get everything ready for this game. We saw the shield parade before the game. The scoreboard's on the back of the Hilux Ute there. And now here comes Jock. Jock's team, Jock. Crying on is Ross. Uh, but we've renamed them Jock for the day, and they're really starting to show something now. They need to. They're down by 29 points to nil. They're looking for anything, anything at all out of this game, and they've driven it within just a few metres of the line. Chugging out comes Olsen. Chugging. They need the Steam rolling out comes Olsen. I need this a bit quicker. No, we'll do the old sneaky dive around the blind side uh, through Foster. Now the backs have a look. Want to go wide? They've got to keep going wide. They have you heard it from wide. the sideline. Get yeah. it out there. It's not bad advice, but we've probably got to be a little more accurate in the passing as they're coming back for a penalty. Well, 29 is up. I'd say rules down there. If you don't score any points, you probably get the down trout. Oh, I'd say absolutely. So just to avoid that, I'd go for the penalty. Yeah. Yeah. At there least is. even when you walk off after 80 minutes, you keep your dignity at least. There is no such thing as nil. So, Jocker on the board, 29 points to three. This is the start of what would be a terrific comeback. One of the greatest comebacks ever to seen in a rugby union. I reckon, 29-3 down. Fodera with a hand and a half on the shield, and if they can score here, and they have. Make that. Gee whiz, that's Gareth Price going in. Boy, what a great finish from the left winger, I think. He's got his other hand on the shield as well. And that's something I didn't ever think I'd see in South Westland. <laughs> the Jeff Wilson antics after he scored a try in the left-hand corner. I thought these are more uh, Colin Meads blokes. Put uh, the ball down, get back to halfway, unsmiling, and maybe have a chuckle afterwards in the shed. No, that's his wife in the green tights he's just <laughs> run past. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's quicker than his wife. Good he finish, though. Out too. Very good finish. There they are, the cheer ladies. They're pooped as well. They're exhausted. Yeah, yeah they're having a wee rest. <laughs> <laughs> you blokes don't need cheering anymore. You're up by plenty. Right, the no-jump win in the line-out for Jock, but it hasn't done them any good because Fodorara have come through. And the referee... Oh, the referee the again. Yep. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Well, He's, he's making it hard, I've yeah. got to say. He's making it hard for Ross. He'd already blown a penalty. And so Fodoroa doing their best to add to the lead that they've already built. And there'll be some gaps out wide here somewhere. Run around from Pamant. He's already scored one try. Blair Grice hasn't though. He gets on the score sheet. The replacement back. And we're up to 56. 56-3. The referee hasn't helped out Ross too much. And here we go again. What's happening there, boys? The Carlos Royal replay. I think we've got to call it quits now. What are, uh, what are they? The chooks? I don't know what the antics are. <laughs> I don't know. There will be a story, though, and one damn good story may hear <laughs> in later editions of Toyota Grassroots Rugby. This will do it. Over goes the conversion. 58 points to three. The Woodham Shield safely can be nailed back into the Whataroa Trophy Cabinet. They've won it pretty easily, there it is. For all to see, the team underneath the green arrow have won it. I'm definitely pretty pleased with the boys. Um, pretty pleased with Ross as well. They turned up on the day and um, we were unsure whether they were actually going to get a team together and our boys have been training for a bit longer and the bulk of us are in the South Westland team and just hats off to them. I mean, it was a struggle for them right from the get-go, but they... Like it may not have looked it from the sideline, but some of those hits they were hitting hard. They, they don't like losing those buggers. Yeah. But um, yeah, the score's not really an issue. The fact that the game's still played and in the manner that it's played um, for the Woodham Shield here in South Western. Tremendous crowd, 500 people here for a game like this in uh, in Fotherow. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame the weather's so bad. Otherwise, a few more <laughs> might have turned up. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll uh, get a few more next week. Yeah. So you've got the shield now for, for next week, and who do you play next week? We've got uh, Fox, Friends, Haas next week, which is usually one of our big big games next week, but we don't really hold it at the moment. Oh, we hold it at the moment, but we've still got two more challenges to go. We're only a third of the way there. But um, hopefully at the end of it, we'll come out with her again. Yeah. But I've got the Ross captain with me now, Mike Riley. Mike, that was a tough old struggle. 
Oh, nothing unusual. They're always uh, tough, their job. But, um, yeah, haven't been on a hiding like that for a long time. But uh, at the end of the day, our biggest mission was just getting a team and come along and having a challenge. And we did that, and uh, very proud of the boys for showing up. Yeah. They put you under a fair bit of pressure for a start, but you came back after half time for a wee while, and I thought your line outs were very good. Yeah, we had it all over them in the line outs. Um, scrums were okay, and the backs looked a bit better in the second half, but you know, the water our team, you've got to hand it to them. You know, number one to 22, they're a very good team, and yeah. uh, that showed on the day. Yeah. Well, that wraps up our South Westland tour, and Toyota Grassroots Rugby would like to thank Trish and Dicey Davidson for their hosting ability. We'd also like to thank Kevin Hill for the helicopters and the gold dredging. Richard Malloy at the Friends Joseph Holiday Camp, marvellous accommodation there for us. And also the Friends Fox helicopter ride up the glacier this morning. It's been a tremendous experience. We've seen some wonderful people, we've seen some wonderful sights, and I can recommend it for all New Zealand. If you want to see, have good hospitality and see marvellous scenery and, and, and plenty of good things to do, come to South Westland. Thanks very much. See you next time. Yes, well done, Jacques. A marvellous trip. Love to take it on myself. Tom Hope for the Toyota Grassroots people. And we go back to Fodera, the game Jock Ross was at. And it's the supporters of the Green and Blacks. And Dog, they didn't give it back, and they gave their team to victory. Yeah, this is a normal wet day as far as the forecast is concerned for Wateroa, yep. yep. yep.